Excel's filtering tool is an incredibly useful feature that allows you to sift through large amounts of data with ease. With the filtering tool, you can filter data based on the criteria that you define, such as text or number values. This makes it easy to find the data you need and to focus on the information that's most important to you. The filtering tool is also incredibly versatile. You can use it to filter data in a table or range of cells, and you can filter data based on multiple criteria at once. Additionally, Excel's filtering tool is easy to use and can be accessed with just a few clicks. Overall, Excel's filtering tool is an essential feature for anyone who works with large amounts of data. It saves time and effort by allowing you to quickly find the information you need and to focus on the data that's most important to you. In this short video, we demonstrate the basic use of this tool and how you can easily drill down on selected criteria. If, after watching the video, you have any questions, then please do leave a comment in the section below. And if you wish to view similar content on the use of Excel in a business context, then please do subscribe to our channel. I hope you enjoy watching. When it comes to filtering, all of the monthly worksheets are set up to allow the use of Excel's filtering tool. The filtering tool allows you to drill down on your transaction data to perform a more advanced analysis or to seek totals by using various search criteria. Let's take a quick look at this facility. Go to the Example Month worksheet. The header line in black has a drop-down box to the right of each header type. Select the drop-down box to the right of the transaction field. This then invites you to drill down by the various transaction types shown. Deselect the Select All button and then check the Bank Payments box and click OK. The Data Entry section now truncates to display only the Bank Payment entries. Now click on the Analysis drop-down box. Deselect the Select All box and then select the Staff Wages box and click OK. The Data Entry section truncates once again to highlight only transactions that are Bank Payments and that are analysed to Staff Wages. The total section on the dashboard shows the total for gross, tax and net values of the filtered values. To stop using the filtering tool, simply click on the filtering tool, now displayed as a funnel, and from the dialog box that opens, check on the Select All button and click OK. Do this for each filtered section and your data entry section expands to once again reveal the entire month's data. We do hope that you found the contents of this presentation both useful and informative. Now, this video is one of four presentations that we use as a support tool for our Easy Accounting Spreadsheet products. The four videos are, firstly, how to create trusted locations and store files that use Excel macros. Secondly, how to use Excel's filtering tool to examine your spreadsheet data. Then, how to use spreadsheets to keep your monthly accounting records. And finally, making tax digital, how to use spreadsheets to collect and submit your VAT. You can view these videos by following the links in the description section below. And finally, please do take the time to subscribe to our channel. Thank you once again for watching. If you like the idea of keeping your accounting and bookkeeping records in Excel, then why not view our promotional videos for the Easy Accounting Spreadsheet products? The first is how to keep your accounts using a spreadsheet. And the second is how to keep your accounts in Excel 
a guide for small businesses.